guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be December favorites. The year went by really fast. I have, I have quite a few, so without further ado, let's get on into the video. My first favorite would have to be backpack purses, and this one I used a lot, and it's from H&M. I couldn't find it on their website anymore, but I know backpack purses have been coming back in lately. And I used to have one for a really long time. Uh, it used to be exclusively what I'd use it as a purse, as backpack purses. I'm really glad that they came back into fashion, but I like the olive color. I like it's like a satin finish, and I haven't scratched it up at all, so I'm really happy about that. I typically just throw it over uh, one shoulder. Sometimes if I need to, I can use both uh, straps. My next favorite would have to be my wallet that I got, and this is a, a fossil watch that I got at an outlet mall in San Marcos, and this is a two-tone, so it's white and black. I like the simplicity of it, and it's just it just opens like that. Uh, but I really like how it feels in my hand. It's actually almost the same size as my iPhone, so it's easy to grab when I just want to carry these two. My next favorite would have to be my watch, and I got this for a present for my husband on my birthday, and it is a citizen watch. I really like the style and how simple it is. It's the ladies Axiom watch, and it's an eco drive watch, so that means it can charge by solar power, so if you're in the sunlight, it can charge up to six months worth, so you could keep it, if you're out in the sun for a while, it could, I don't know how long you have to be in the sun for it to get the six months. I think it's pretty cool that you could do that. My next favorite would, oddly enough, have to be grocery store apps. And I know that nowadays there's an app for everything. I downloaded the apps for the two grocery stores that we frequent. I've been making my shopping list on the app and it's it's just been really nice to actually go in and not have to always write it down, but to go to the app and it'll tell me what aisle, what I need is on, and I can just slide or check off my list. And it just makes us getting through the grocery store a lot faster. So if you guys have a grocery store that you frequent, I would definitely recommend checking to see if they have an app. Now in December, I used Pinterest a lot for searching recipes. I use Pinterest a lot just for inspiration on other stuff, but in December I was more in like a baking type of mood, and which I typically am around the holidays. I found a couple of recipes for a cheesecake flavor that I have not even seen or heard of yet, and it was eggnog cheesecake. I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of that. I thought it was genius. I don't know why I don't see that for sale anywhere. I was like, heck yeah, eggnog is in the store. Let me go buy it. Let me make this cheesecake. And I know Pinterest recipes can be kind of hit or miss sometimes, but this actually turned out really, really good. And I'll insert a picture here of the one that I actually made, and it was so good. Um, I actually bought some containers and packaged up um, individual slices for people that my husband works with, and they really liked it too. But this recipe was from, and I'll put a link to the recipe down below so you guys, if you want to see it, you can make it for yourself. It was on rosebakes.com. I'll give you the link on over to her site, and it's definitely worth a try. And the coolest thing was that the crust was not your typical graham cracker or basic like pie crust. It was um, ginger snaps is the crust. So I bought a bag of ginger snaps and you put it in a food processor or blender and add butter and you use that as your crust and it was amazing. So the next thing that I really have to talk about is this black pillowcase and it's a silk pillowcase and this is not my first silk pillowcase. Specifically a black one I got because I dyed my hair a lot. The residual like hair dye can transfer onto my pillowcases so I wanted to get one where that wouldn't show up so initially I got a silk pillowcase because it helps with your frizz on your hair. It's said to be helpful for like your skin too. Silk doesn't absorb oil uh, the same way or rate that cotton does so uh, in some respects people would say that that kind of helps your uh, skin retain moisture, so I thought that that was pretty neat, but I like the black pillowcase because my hair dye, you can't tell it's on there. My next favorites would have to be yogi tea, or just hot tea in general. Now, this month in December, I was sick for basically half the month, and I just now, a few days ago, got over a really bad cold. 
I coughed so much. My throat got really raw. This one tastes so good, the Skin Detox. And they, I think they both taste good. One of them is caffeine free. And this one only has like 18 milligrams per tea bag. Uh, they have a really uh, long list of like good like roots and natural things that are in there. My next favorite is a hand soap. And this is the Dial Miracle Oil. It's a hand soap that has marula oil in it. Now I got this because my hand, I, I wash my hands so much that they, they do tend to crack, especially in the winter. Um, my cuticles will crack, and which really hurts. If you guys have had that happen, you know how bad that hurts. So I try to use hand lotion a lot, but I thought, you know, let me try to get something, a hand soap that has like oil in it, just try to see if I could put extra moisture into my hand washing process, but this smells really good. I think I got this for 98 cents at Walmart, and you can really tell how moisturizing it is just by the feel of it when you wash your hands. So check this out if you guys see this. My next favorite is this Twisted Peppermint Body Spray from Bath & Body Works. This is a yearly thing. It smells like a candy cane and it makes me feel festive. With the colder weather, I tend to cycle through different perfumes. This month, uh, I wore this perfume by Tokyo Milk. It's called Tainted Love. This is an EDP. Uh, they have a whole series of these and they all come in these really cool black glass bottles. Each side has something on it and they have a number. Tainted Love is a dark vanilla bean, orchid, white tea, and sandalwood. It has almost like a, a really rich, like sweet but smoky smell to it. I don't think it's too heavy. I feel like it, it lasts all day when I wear it and I really like that. The other perfume that I wore a lot this month was Armani Code for her. This one has similar sweetness to the other one but it's more powdery than the other one. They have a lot of similarities, but this one I feel like is a little bit softer than the other one. So I definitely like that. I couldn't have a December Favorites without having a Lush <laughs> Snow Fairy in it. This is a lot of people's favorites. I feel like it's like a sweet bubble gum smell. If you guys know anything about Lush, you know it's all like vegan and natural ingredients. Yeah, absolutely love this. Since candy cane scents are <laughs> in my favorites. I also had to snag these chapstick packs and it's the candy cane flavor. It's a three pack. I think I got this at Target. So, um, I have one in my purse now. It's just basic chapstick but it has candy cane flavor. <laughs> my next favorite has to be the Sonia Kashuk bronzer and I heard a lot of people talk about this. I've seen a lot of people compare it to Soleil Tan de Chanel. This is $10.99 at Target. You don't get a whole bunch of product in it. I know the Chanel one is like $50, but you get a lot bigger amount when you get that. This one, I'll insert a swatch of it. I, d I don't have the original uh, Chanel one to compare it to myself. The pictures that I've seen compared online show these very similar in color. And this had really good reviews. I think this is like 0.18 ounces, so you don't get a whole lot of product but I've really enjoyed it and it is a cream bronzer. My next favorites are these uh, Little Palettes by Morphe. These are in collaboration with uh, Lena Gant. Really, really cute palettes, but the colors are amazing. This one is Coca Mocha. And the other one that I got is Coffee Toffee. And they did have other ones, but these two uh, were definitely up my alley. Um, I'll insert some swatches of these as well. Definitely uh, really good quality products, so I, I've enjoyed those. All right, my other uh, beauty uh, favorite this month is the Clean It Zero, and this is a makeup removing balm. Now, my favorite one is the one by Clinique, the Take the Day Off Balm, which I do have, but I'm almost out of it. And I heard Shan XO talk about this. I got mine on Amazon, and it's a Korean brand, and it has papaya extract. It has a very similar texture to, like, coconut oil, and it melts that fast, but it really melts off my makeup and my mascara really well, and I wear waterproof mascara all the time, so it has almost like a pink color to it. It's worked really well, and I really like that, so it's a good find. My final category is television and movies, and with the holidays, there's definitely all kinds of holiday themed movies going on, and the one I have to always watch is The National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I have to see the Griswolds and see that movie every year. 
My next two are television shows. The first one is Westworld, and this is a story that was actually originally put out in 1973 by Michael Crichton, who's a, a novelist. He mashed up two genres, which was really cool. It's an amazing concept. He mashed up sci-fi and western, and since then there have been, I believe, two other shows or movies that were based off that but HBO adapted a series and it was just amazing. You guys really should check it out. But it does have adult content, so if you guys are underage, just check with The Guardian or something. It's amazing. Just so much of it blew my mind. I was just so thrilled that somebody could think of something so different and it was just cool to see that. The other TV show is The Blacklist and that comes on NBC. And I'm not fully caught up uh, all the way on season four. I'm only through season the end of season three. But uh, this stars James Spader, who formerly worked for the government, and he turned fugitive. So he's been on the run for a while, and the FBI actually ended up hiring him to help solve like high-profile crimes. He's such a good actor, and there's so much action, and the storylines are developed like so like intense. I definitely recommend you guys checking those out if you can. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up my favorites. Uh, I will be doing a yearly favorite, so click down below on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on that or any future videos that I'm going to be doing. Comment what some of your favorites were this month. Let me know what you got up to, and I will see you in the next video.